Inna alhamdulillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfir wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyiati a'malina man yahdihillahu fala mudilla lahu wa man yudlil fala hadiya lahu wa ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan 'abduhu wa rasuluhu khali balaka la arjlahi watch his leg don't make sure you don't bump into that thing ayyub okay alhamdulillah we are now back in Al Ajrumiya. What lesson is this? Arabic lesson 10. It's the 10th lesson. The 10th lesson in Al Ajrumiya. The sex, the Al Ajru. Astaghfirullah. Al Ajrumiya. And also, we're dealing with here the Alamatu Nasb. We're dealing with the signs of Nasbi. Okay? For those people who want to know, we're dealing with the signs of Nasbi. Alhamdulillah. Somebody wrote me, uh, one of the brothers, Alhamdulillah, he was saying that when he learned it from Muhammad Salam, he, he said it was Ajarumiya, like that. And I want people not to become, don't worry about it. You say Ajarumiya, Ajarumiya, Ajarumiya. It's a Berber word that means the poor Sufi son. Okay? Ibn, actually, Ibn Ajarumiya means son of the poor Sufi. Okay, the word Ajrumiya means the poor Sufi. So you can pronounce it with al jim Fatha, Jim Dhamma, or Jim Sukun. It's not going to take away from the meaning of the word. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. And on that second note, you know, Alhamdulillah, now it makes it more important that we take these lessons like al Ajrumiya, because the Sheikh Muhammad Salam now has just passed away. Rahimahullah. And you can't get this anymore from him. So you can only get it from his students. And we can only remember now how he used to teach it. And inshallah ta'ala, we can pass on the legacy of learning. Uh, and that's what we're told to do. Okay, this is what the meaning of that is. To be patient of what comes with learning and teaching and practicing this deen and the adha that comes with that. So, we're dealing with the signs of nasbi. This, the poem goes, alamat, and we just finished doing the signs of what? Rafi. We said we have the two kings, right? Raf'un wa nasbun. They are the two signs of Iraq because they enter on everything. Now we're going to deal with this one. Alamatu nasbi laha kun muhsiyan al-fatha wal-alif wal-kasra wal-yah wa hadfunun falladhi fathu bihi alamatun yada yuhatnuha li nasbihi. It starts off like that. He says, Alamatu nasbi laha kun muhsiyan al-fatha wal-alif wal-kasra wal-yah وَخَذْفُنُونٍ فَالَّذِي فَتْحُوا بِهِ عَلَامَاتٌ يَا ذَانُهَا لِنَصْبِهِ Let's do it again. عَلَامَاتُ نَصْبِ Starts right here. The signs of Nasbi. The signs of? And Nasbi is an ibara, is an expression. I don't want people to talk about, oh, it's genitive, it's whatever they be saying, those um, people. I don't know about that stuff. What I know is this. It's Raf'un, nasbun, thumma khathun, jazmun. So that's what we know, okay? And now we're dealing with nasbun, okay? So the signs of nasbun, laha kun muhsiyan, be good to them. For them, for them, kun, be muhsinan, you know, muhsiyan, be be harsan alayha, also memorize them, preserve them, okay? لَهَا كُنْ مُحْصِيًا What are they? الْفَتْحَ A fatha and a... Astaghfirullah. A fatha. Uh, let me get a thing right there, please. I make a mistake here. Thank you. A fatha, a alif, a kasra, and a ya. Also, وَحَذْفُ noon And the cutting off. Cutting off the noon. وَحَذْفُ نُونُ فَالَّذِي فَتْحُوا بِهِ عَلَامَاتٌ يَادَى نُهَا لِنَصْبِهِ He starts it off real strong. He says, فَالَّذِي Let's go through this first. He says, so the signs of Nasbi, be for them, لَهَا كُنْ مُحْسِيًا Be ready for them. What did he say here? Sheikh said, Alhamdulillah. Uh, 
ولا ما تنحص بلا كل مصيا الفتح والألف وكذا I rather mention it right here حافظا نعم عدها count her count them preserve them okay he says be محصيان عدها وحافظا لها so then what they are are these things it's an a it's a fatha say fatha and it's an alif kasra and a ya and also at the end of it we call it hadfu noon is cutting the noon off. These are the signs of Nasbi. Okay? These are the signs of Nasbi. I'll tell you how you can never forget them. Check it out over here. Remember this word. Fakih. Say it. This is how we used to do it. Fakih. Just like we gave you the word for the Dhamma, Wow, and Alif, and Wanun, it was what? The one. Right? So now we got another one. We're dealing with Fakih. Say it. Fakih. الفتح والألف والكسر والياء وحذف نون فالذي فتحوا به علامات يا ذا لنصبه he says here فالذي so the one so that which the فتح the فتح for it is Arabic so for it is a sign a sign Oh, you person that has an intellect. Oh, you witty person. That's what he's talking about. Is, oh, you person that possesses an intellect. For the Nusbi. For it to be considered <laughs> Nusbi. All that's in this little bitty line. He starts it off real strong. And that is, we have one more line and we'll be finished. Memorize it, preserve it. What are they? Al Fatha wal Alif wal Kasra wal Ya. Wa Hadf Noon Faladi Hadf Fathu Bihi. Alamatin Ya Da Nuhali Nasbihi. مكسر الجموع ثم المفرد ثم الذي كتسعد. Let me write it down. ثم المضارع الذي كتسعد. I'll write it down here on the bottom so you can keep this up, okay? Oh, these knees. So my God, you guys gotta do something about my knees, man. It says مكسر 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 الجموع. ثم المفرد ثم المضارع مضارع الذي كتسعد 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 Okay, it says, Mukas. Nam, Mukasiru. Mukasiru, Mukasaru. Because you have it in your book as a fatah? Let me see. Let me check it out. Not sure. I don't want to see your book. Let me check again. It should be Mukasiru. Jumu'au, Mukasaru. It will change the meaning. If it's Mukasiru, it means the one that makes it is broken. It, it, it's been broken. If it's Mukasaru, then it means that it has been made broken. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? I'll check my, my, my text here. I have it here as Mukasaru in the front part. And in the back part, I have it as... Oh, I have it as a fatah. Thank you. It's been made. So that's what changes. Mukasaru al-jumu'i thumma al-mufradu. Jazakallah khair. 
ثم المفرد ثم المضارع الذي كتسعد it says مكسر الجموع مكسر الجموع is an expression that means the جمع مكسر the جمع مكسر okay meaning the broken plural we went over this before right broken plural what is a broken plural we have a word like رجل say رجل that's one that's a singular his plural would be what? Rijal. Rijalan. Or Rijalun. If we do that, then you see what's happened. There's been a break in the word. The break is between the jim and the lamb. So this is considered a broken plural. Okay? So a broken plural, a sign for nas before it, is going to be a fatha. Okay? Because he says here, فَالَّذِي فَتْحُ بِهِ عَلَى مَا تَنْيَادَ نُحَالِ نَصْبِهِ مُكَسَّرُ الْجُمُوعِ مُكَسَّرُ الْجُمُوعِ is the broken plural. He uses a fatham. ثُمَّ then the mufrad. The mufrad is the singular word, the ismul mufrad. This is an expression of what? Ismul mufrad. And that's the word like Zaid. Zaid. We said Zaidun. Now we can say Zaidan. Okay, now the fatha or the fatha tan, we say fatha, it can be fatha or fatha tan. Okay, at the end of it, that is a proof that this is a ismul mufrad and it is in a nusbi. Now, somebody said, well, you added an alif there. From the adat, from the rules of Arabs on Arabic language, when a word ends with a fatha tan, you have to add an alif on the end. So this alif is not the expression that we're talking about when we say that um, alif is a sign for nasbi. We're talking about the fatha here in ismul mufrad. Everybody with me? No. Okay. Except for when it's, if you say, um, let's say, muslim, muslimatun, right? And you have fatatain there, then you don't add a alif because it has termabuta. And just for anybody, when I say termabuta, this is termabuta. It means the tied ta. Marbuta means rabata, means it's tied. This is called a ta maftuha, an open ta. Very simple. Say marbuta. Marbuta. Maftuha. Maftuha. So don't be confused with that. They're both ta. Ta marbuta with ta maftuha. However, when you stop on the ta marbuta, you pronounce it as a ha. So here, that's why you read this. You say muslimatun. Muslimatan or Muslima? Both of them are correct. You follow me? No. That's just a sidebar issue right there. So then it goes, Ismul Mufrad. A sign for the Ismul Mufrad in the Nasbi is what? The Fatha. Okay? Thumma al Mudari'u ladi katasadu. The Mudari is the Mudari. The Mudari, we already mentioned also, is the Fa'lun, right? It's the fa'lun that comes with nothing tied to the end of it. Here, we're talking about a fa'lun that comes and there's nothing on the end of it. So it's like tas'adu. Okay? So, yaf ala. That's all you need to know. Yaf ala. Okay? Because if you add something to the end, what can you add at the end? You could add the alif of its name, the alif which means two. You could add the alif of nisa, I mean the noon of niswa, yaf alna. You could add also, the yaf ali, I mean taf ali, the ya mukhatiba niswa, and that would change it. However, as long as there's nothing tied to the end, when you see a fatha at the end of the word, then you know that on the end of the mudarit, then you know that that, is, that word is in the, that is in the nasbi case. Okay, everybody follow me? That's your lesson. Simple as that. We'll stop here. Do I have any questions? Let's do it one more time. علامات نصب لها كن محصية الفتح والألف وال الفتح والألف والكسر والياء وحذف نون فالذي فتح به علامات يادا نهال نصبه مكسر الجموع ثم المفرد ثم المضارع الذي كتسعد real easy أقول قول هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم والسلام عليكم